thousands and thousands of people are coming to Canada either through study visa, work visa, and eventually become permanent immigrants here. But do you know what is the health uh, care system in Canada? Healthcare is free, of course. But uh, look at the disease structure and the disease pattern in Canada. You can see on the screen cancer numbers in Canada in 2020. Nearly half of the Canadians are expected to be diagnosed with cancer at some point of their lives. Uh, nearly 18 million people out of 36 million population will get cancer diagnosis at some point of the life. That is a huge number. I do not know if you know this, but uh, wherever you are coming from, if you're an immigrant, is that the same statistics in your country? Compare that with Canada and then you get a more realistic realization of uh, what the healthcare system and the living uh, conditions are in Canada. This is a report uh, published uh, two days ago uh, on CBC News. You can type the title uh, as you see on the screen and put this on Google and you can read the screen on your own. Uh, this is a photograph about somebody getting a mammogram and all this this was, I think, done in the BC uh, Vancouver area. And this is from the BC Cancer Society. Uh, they are uh, spreading information about people to get diagnosed so that they can find out quicker so that they can solve the problem while it can be solved. But my uh, here, I think it's the BC Cancer video. There's some video posted on YouTube. You can type this on Google and then uh, go to the video yourself and this is posted in Punjabi, Cantonese, Mandarin, English, uh, most popular uh, immigrant language in that area and then you can you can read about it. But here, just, let me just leave it uh, at the at the statistics here. Cancer numbers in Canada in 2020 estimated 225,800 new cases of cancer expected to be diagnosed this year. That's a lot of cases. Uh, lung cancer, prostate cancer, breast cancer, uh, and 83,300 people are projected to die of cancer this year, only in 2020. But in the lifetime, 50% of the Canadians uh, will eventually get some, some kind of diagnosis with cancer, all right? So, hey, uh, take a look. Uh, <laughs> uh, because of lifestyle changes and aging and, you know, uh, other other factors, reduced physical inactivity, uh, cancer is, is the leading cause of death uh, in, in Canada. In fact, it says here somewhere, so leading cost of death in Canada is, uh, let me see if I can find it here. Yeah, here's uh, highlighted on the screen. Overall, cancer remains the leading cause of death in Canada. My God, that's a, that's a very alarming statement. But hey, uh, you can read this our article on your own. Uh, it's on CBC News. All right, so you can see it's uh, who wrote this article and where it is posted, and then you can do your own analysis. Uh, if you want to leave a comment, please do. Thank you.